Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits, today joined by my dad. Hi there. Evan, or Evan, as we say in Denmark. Yeah, we moved inside for this review because the weather started getting weird, and that's just the typical Danish summer. Like, one point you'll have rain, uh, sun, and then, like, an hour after that, it'll be rainy. It's so weird. But, um, yeah, so we moved inside for this one, which is kind of fitting because this is a big imperial stuff. Big coffee and vanilla imperial stuff. This is another beer from Pipeworks. Only had two other beers from them. Uh, the one I reviewed with Jakob, the uh, pastrami on rye, and then something in Spanish. Now this is their Coffee Break Abduction Imperial Stout. Love that label and it's waxed and everything. I'm, I'm not sure, if, I think it might be a limited release because of the wax, because uh, the, the other beers I've seen from them don't have wax. I'm not sure though, but this is a take on their Abduction Imperial Stout. It's got the same similar kind of label, just instead of a dude with a cup of coffee, it's got uh, uh, like a, a farmer or something like that being abducted by aliens. But the different ver thing about this version is that they took the regular abduction and added in coffee from Epsento and uh, vanilla beans, so that's nice. Basically on the back it says, oh yeah, 10.5% alcohol by volume, so big beer. It says here, think yourself entitled to some brief respite, human, think again. Our coffee version of Abduction Imperial Stout uses a local craft roast coffee from our friends at Ipsento and whole vanilla beans to take you away once more. Which, depending on your penchant for a probing, may be just what you need. Beware of the skies, for this robust, robust richly flavored latte Imperial Stout may just scoop you up. So yeah, cool stuff. I'm really looking. This is going to be a good dessert beer because we just had dinner. So yeah, let's get this one cracked. Okay, so we got the Coffee Break Abduction Port, and that's just pitch black. Ah, pitch, pitch black. I don't see any light coming through this. Nope. Tan looking head on there. You got a really nice head on your glass. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like really thick, tiny bubbles, and I can see you're already digging in, so let's smell it. Oh, that smells really nice. You can really smell the coffee and the vanilla beans. Mmm. I'm also getting an almost hoppy character. Almost like some kind of hoppy. Definitely some hobby in. Wow, but it's got abundance of coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots and lots of, like, dark roast coffee. I can see what they say about it smelling like a latte because of the vanilla. Because mm -hmm. it does have this sweet, sugary, vanilla-like component to it as well. Some dark fruits, some roasted malts. Yeah, but the coffee really dominates a lot in the aroma. I think, like... Mm, That's yeah. the main, main aroma. The coffee is the main, but the vanilla comes through as well. Through as well. And almost like a sugary sensation to it. Yeah, sweetness. Yeah, almost like a sugar-coated kind of dark fruit thing, because it has that dark fruit aroma with the sugary notes. It smells really nice. This is making my teeth water. You want to taste this? Yeah, I want to taste this. It smells really good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow! That is nice! Wow, it's got a lot of coffee. And vanilla and sugary sweetness. Mm. <laughs> that is like a dessert in a glass. Yeah. Wow, that is really good. Mm. On the aftertaste, the lingering is really nice as well. I'm just getting tons of like super dark roasted coffee on the back end. And it's nice. What do you think about the mouthfeel on this one? It fills it up. Definitely yeah. fills it up. Creamy, mm -hmm. uh, delicious, uh, you just want to drink more of this. Yeah, like chewy, creamy mouthfeel. Mm. Um, getting, a little, I mean, the, the coffee flavor is like just like a fresh coffee bean uh, or fresh like brewed coffee. And then you get that vanilla component in there as well, which just gives some nice sweetness. It is a sweeter Imperial Stout though. I think the coffee taste in this is when you get a real good espresso. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got that similar flavor, mm. but then just it has the sweetness with the vanilla as well. Yeah. That tops it up. Mm -hmm. That's a, definitely a good coffee beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, it almost, yeah, as, as I said, the latte like flavor. It does have some dark fruits in there as well, I think. It, maybe not as much sugar coated dark fruits as I said with the aroma, but it has like a dark fruit flavor, a little bit of a sugary, slight brown sugary flavor with like the roasted malt and a slightly almost burnt note, I think. What else? Is there anything the, else? the vanilla don't take that much over. No, it's uh, in balance. It's in balance. You, you could easily have 
uh, too much vanilla and then it, it would be like um, sweet cake or something yeah. like that. But it's not. It, uh, it's, it's balanced. It's really yeah. good balanced. And then with the chewy nice mouthfeel and all, you get some dark chocolate flavors, I think, as well. Uh, maybe it makes them both dark and milk, or, uh, milk chocolate because it's got the sweetness. Mm. But it definitely has some darker chocolate notes with the roasted malt and all. I think this is a phenomenal beer. This really makes me want to try more beer from Biteworks. Ten and a half percent, Dad. What do you think? You don't taste it. No. You don't taste it. And you, I don't even feel the, the warmth of it. Nope. It's just it goes down so well. Rating wise for me, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go 94 on this one actually. This is really good. This is... The only thing I'd like more of is maybe a little bit thicker mouth feel, feel but then again it's really nice in coating. There's a lot of coffee flavor. Maybe it could also use a touch more vanilla but it is nicely in balance. So this is a, an amazing imperial stout. This is really good. What do you think Dad? It could be one of my favorites too. Uh, I would go mid 92. Yeah, like a 95 or something. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is great. Go for the coffee break abduction if you can get that. That is great stuff. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. And do you think it's as good as I? I mean, my dad do. We're digging this stuff. So you yeah, guys. Uh, Remember to let us know, as I said, what do you think of this? If you've had it, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. 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 And for the last time, happy Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> and then we're going to see you guys in another beer review. Cheers.